Well, here we go. Negativity is back in the stock market. So we're going to talk about this today. I think this will be a good video to talk about what's going on right now. Now, just a shout out to yesterday's video. I did talk about SoFi. Did about an hour's research. I kind of put my findings into that video. Um, not too much of a deep dive as like the Revolution Beauty one. But yeah, um, just my thoughts on SoFi in the current situation. Looking like a really good business at the moment. Would like to get it a bit more to profitability. So do go check that video out yesterday. It was funny though to see a lot of the... Uh, so far, for fanboys that were getting a little bit upset because I said they need to get to profitability personally before I buy it. Uh, it's unbelievable how offended some people get when you just say something negative about the stock. But anyway, get on today's video about negativity. So we've had a stock market in the last kind of three months, really, especially since like May, June time. We've been on a good run. We've had stocks bouncing uh, massive. You know, stocks have been up 30, 40, 50, even some stocks over 100%. And that's as, as we have the indexes only bounce, you know, seven eight percent so this is what's going to happen when stocks go down or when indexes go down a lot of individual stocks especially the more risk on stocks will go down even more when we have stocks go up and the indexes go up you know seven eight percent a lot of them individual stocks will go up 30 40 percent and you'll have some of those higher risk stocks even potentially go on even a, a better run than that and that's what we've seen in the last few months we saw stocks massively sell, sell off we've seen a lot of negativity especially from that november 2021 period to that kind of um may 2022 period we saw so much negativity we saw stocks going down massively and i pretty much uh, said on a lot of videos that I believe a lot of stocks now have got to unbelievably cheap valuations and I was trying to buy that dip constantly as we're going down. Now over the last few months as we've been rallying out that dip, I've slowed my buying down, we've been on a good rally, we've had a, stocks had a, a very good bounce and personally for me, I've also, as uh, I made aware with you guys that I've made a few videos on the channel, I was personally just taking a little bit of profit off the table because we had a quite an aggressive bounce on these stocks. Now what's happened in the last few weeks, um, especially the last three weeks or the last two weeks and then going into this week, uh, pre-market looks quite ugly again today. Uh, the last few days we've had a bit of a rallying pre-market and it's given it all back. We've seen a bit of a pullback recently in these last two or three weeks and a lot of that, there's not really a concrete reason why we're doing that. I think obviously one of the reason why potentially is because we have had a very good rally from you know may time and maybe a few people are taking a bit of profit off the table but as well as that is that when one of the big things that kind of added uh fuel to the fire was that we had the fed basically come out and say oh you know like the last few months uh we've been saying that we won't stop rising interest rates if we have one month of inflation data that's good we need a couple of months uh, like we said previously for the last year and for some reason uh, Wall Street went oh you're doing exactly what you said you were going to do we don't like that and then it seems to be selling the market off which is absolutely bonkers but now because we've had a couple of weeks where we've had the stock market giving back some gains uh, a couple of percentage the negativity has come back we've seen it on uh, stocks selling off we've seen it on comments whether you're watching the news for example a lot more negativity out there i'm seeing it personally in like the comment section i have seen everyone kind of disappear that was negative in the last few months they've all suddenly went a bit quiet as that as that stock market rally happened everyone all of a sudden went oh oh dear like the stocks are actually going up like i saw uh, when hims was down at three dollars everybody was like oh yeah that's the reason why it's going down it's a terrible company it's unprofitable and then all of a sudden hims went from three dollars all the way back up to like seven eight dollars and all of a sudden you saw the comments of like i'm just using hims as an example i could use it for plenty of stocks all the negative comments on hims for example went oh it's just gone up 100 percent and this is the thing is like you know we when you have the ability when you doubt those sort of, sort of valuations you are going to bounce a little bit hard but now we're having the negativity creep back in and why is the negativity creeping back in why has that disappeared for the last you know three months and then all of a sudden why has that come back again well the reason why is because unfortunately quite a few people in the stock market don't do very well in the stock market the reason why is because they don't look at valuations they don't look at businesses and they don't stare at what the business is doing instead of judging a business on what's going on inside and staring at that business financials and going oh you know they said they're going to do this they're executing on this the company's growing in this sort of rate or the, you know the, pro the profitability it's either moving to profitability or that profitability is getting bigger or when you look at okay the business is potentially you know ticking up nicely but the crazy thing with the stock market is that you can have a business that's ticking up nicely and the the stock price can go like this it could be ticking along and then boom so financially you could have a business that's performing absolutely amazing but the stock price can go this it's a crazy thing this stock market 
it's a crazy thing. It's a place where that can happen. You'll have businesses that will be absolutely flying and then they can lose 50% in a few months. It's, it's a really crazy place. And it's a crazy place because it could be a bit frustrating. It could come out of nowhere. But also, you can have amazing opportunities. The stock market is an amazing place for creating opportunities because you'll see, you can see this multiple times, even in markets that are just not negative markets, which we've been in for the last few months. Even in other years, in, in bull markets, you'll have opportunities where the stock market will be doing quite well and you'll have businesses doing quite well. Or potentially, this is a common thing as well. The business might be doing quite well and then all of a sudden it'll have maybe some news that's a little bit disappointing, maybe lost a little bit of a contract or potentially the, uh, there was a blip in the quarter, something happened and potentially financially for the company they'll, they'll drop a little bit but then they'll carry on building and you'll have this where the stock market can get absolutely spooked and uh, you'll have the stock that might go Oi, like this and massively drop down on, on the news and a massive overreaction and you get a crazy valuation here. And it's you as a, your job as an investor to kind of capitalize on them opportunities and, you know, and maybe look at, is this an opportunity where the stock market's you know, overreacted? And someone said this to me the other day, I was talking to someone about the stock market um, and what's currently going on at the moment. And he was saying like, the thing is with the stock market is that you don't get amazing valuations without some negativity out there. And every time you get them amazing valuations with that negativity, they can be the best buying opportunities, but you've got to have the confidence to buy in that negativity. For example, March 2020 was one of the best investing opportunities in here. We got that opportunity to buy them stocks because there was all that negativity about the CV situation. Oh, it's going to be terrible. It's going to carry on forever. Businesses are never going to be the same. The economy is never going to be the same. And what happened if you bought in that dip, you get the rewards. But you bought in that dip because you had that fear. And at the time, there was that fear around there. There was that negativity around there. And you had the confidence to buy and go, you know what? I'm investing in this for the long term and I'm going to get the rewards. You had to buy in that dip and have the confidence to buy and hold it through that negativity. Now, it's easy in hindsight now, you know, when we've been through the bull run to go, yeah, obviously that was an amazing buying opportunity. But at the time, there weren't a lot of people saying that. There was all that negativity out there, the people being negative on the market. And that's the thing, you know, every single dip that you have, you've also got to have that confidence to be buying. It's not going to be plain sailing. That's the thing with the stock market. And unfortunately, why this, this creation of negativity in the last few weeks and why it disappeared in the last few months is because Generally, a lot of people in the stock market aren't successful in the stock market because they judge their businesses on share price. So, for example, if there's a company and the share price is going like this, all of a sudden people are going, oh, that's an amazing company. The share price is going up. If a business is doing this on the share price, automatically people go, oh, that's a bad business. The share price is going down. It's a terrible business. And that's always not necessarily the case. It's amazing to always to see the amount of people that will see the share price and the share price will do, do this and everyone overnight turns and goes, that's a terrible business. A lot of, there's a lot of people unfortunately aren't very successful in the stock market because they look at share prices and judge businesses on the share price rather than looking at a business and going, oh, financially, this is doing absolutely amazing. And then looking at the share price going, that share price isn't a fair reflection. That valuation isn't a fair reflection. An example is Hims, for example. Hims went down to $3, and at $3, people were saying it was a terrible business. It was unbelievable because they were staring at the share price. And then what happened? We had a big rally, it went up to $8. If you bought the dip, you got the rewards. And that's only a, a, a short period of time. I'm not even talking when you start actually judging businesses over a long period of time. That will look like a silly valuation. But same again, you know, people judge that at $3 because it had a bad share price rather than going, that's, that's just absolutely silly, you should be buying this. And there's plenty of them out there. There's plenty of stocks out there that you could be doing exactly this right now. There's a lot of opportunities out there. And that's why there's a lot of negativity back at the moment. And for me personally, for example, if we have a, a stock that's been uptrending recently and now we're starting to have a bit of a dip again, it's amazing to see the negativity come back. Now for me personally, I've took a little bit of profit off the table and I think we're starting to get a bit more back to fair valuations. However, the stock market can do anything. In the next few weeks, the next few months, we might have a stock market that goes up. We might have a stock market that goes flat for a few weeks, which I think it potentially should do after a bit of rally like this. Or we can have a stock market that just downtrends after here. And we start pushing back to new lows again, or the lows that we had previously, you know, before that May time, before we had the rally. Now, personally for me, 
I'm not really bothered what stocks do in the short term. I'm investing into businesses for the long term. However, if I get in the short term, unbelievable valuations again, I won't be sad. I won't be negative on the stock market. I won't be negative on these businesses. I'll be going, you know what? If you want to give me back, for example, Hims, if you want to give me that back at $3, I'll take that opportunity and I'll buy it. So while this negativity is here, the great thing for me as a long-term investor is I can capitalize on this and I can buy it very much like I was doing a few months ago and I'm very sure I'll get the rewards again. Because right now we have had a bit of a dip. If this negativity does continue and we go back down again, I will love that opportunity. I will be buying that opportunity once again. And what will happen once again is very quickly, we'll have a rebound if we go to crazy valuations and I'll be you know, buying them stocks and then when we have the rebound, I'll have the rewards once again. So for me, either way, there's a lot of negativity creeping back, creeping back into this market. We'll see what happens. I personally think that this negativity is uh, overdone once again and we should be a little bit higher than where we are. I thought personally we should be in the flat for a few months, uh, but we're going down again. And with this negativity about, if it does lead to, you know, stocks going back down to crazy valuations, I am happy for it to do it because I will repeat the process that I did a few months ago and I'll be buying those dips and we'll have crazy valuations and in the long term as a long term investor, if you're staring at businesses that are performing absolutely amazing and them share prices drop to crazy low valuations, you'll get the rewards for buying the dip. And that's what's, that's what's key right now. So yeah, I thought I made this video talk about what's going on in the stock market right now. My thoughts at the moment, and if anything, if we do have this stock market that's been negative carrying on and we keep going lower, I'm not going to complain one bit because the last time we had this a few months ago, we saw what happened and there's a lot of businesses at the moment that crazy valuations that are doing absolutely amazing and I will take those opportunities if they come around again. So I hope you enjoyed the video anyway guys, hit the like button and I'll see you next on the next video.